we begin by installing our coding environment. Now there's a load of different environments that you might want to use. Some of these include Visual Studio Code. You might want to use the regular Python uh, environment, which is called Idle. We're going to be using a very popular one called PyCharm. So to install PyCharm, I'm just going to go to Google and just punch it in. PyCharm is made by a company called JetBrains. So I'm going to follow these links through. I'm going to click on download. However you get there, you should end up on a screen that looks vaguely like this. Depending on your own environment, whether you're Windows, Mac or Linux, you'd want to select whichever version of that you are on. I'm using a Windows environment, so I'm going to leave it as is. You do have an option to follow the professional version if you so choose. There is a free trial available to you. The professional version does have a whole stack of extra features that are really, really handy, uh, but it is a paid version which you'll need to pay some, uh, some cash for throughout the year. We're going to run with the community version instead, which is free. So we're going to click on download. We're going to give that one a moment and just let it uh, download as per usual. Following the successful download, you should be able to just click on it down in Chrome or whichever your preferred browser is. From here, it'll guide you through the install as per normal. I presume that you're comfortable with installing things, so it should just be a fairly standard next, next, next. You can go about adding a couple of other options here if you did want to create some, uh, some file associations, etc. We're just going to leave that as blank and I'm going to hit install. This might take a moment, so be patient with it. And once you're finished, you should be able to click on Run PyCharm Community Edition as normal and click on Finish. The first time around, there may be a few different settings that you're going to want to get set right. If you've previously had settings available, you might want to be able to import whatever other settings you've previously had. I'm just going to click on Do Not Import Settings and hit OK. I'm going to make sure that I've read through this user agreement. I've read it before, so I can just click uh, I, can confirm, I can confirm and hit continue. You're then going to be prompted for a couple of options here for customizing. Uh, by default, you're going to be able to pick whether you want a light or a darkular theme. I'm going to stick with darkular, and then I'm going to hit skip remaining and set defaults, just so that we all end up with a standard uh, environment. From here, we should be able to click on create new project. And following these links through, um, you'll just need to set a location of some variety. So I have a parent folder here that's in my C drive. This is called Python Projects, and I'm going to call this First Attempt. Um, I'm going to hit my drop down here, and you should have an option here just to be able to set it to use a new environment with this virtual environment. So no need to necessarily worry too much about what that entails. If we just hit Create for now, it will take us into a generic environment. First few times that you use PyCharm, it does give you these handy tips. You're welcome to continue using them and skip through your next tips. But uh, once you're done with that, and if it does start to frustrate you, you can hit your show tips on startup uh, and uncheck that, and then they'll stop uh, stop appearing in each instance. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit close. I'm just going to maximize my screen here so that I can see what's going on. So the basics when it comes to PyCharm, you've got your coding location here. This is where you're going to be typing all of your code uh, once we begin creating some files. We've got our file explorer over on this side. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a very basic hello world just while uh, the rest of this environment is being set up. So I'm going to hit my drop down here and you'll see that I've got my virtual environment folder. By right clicking on first attempt, that, that, that is the parent folder, I can have an option to hit new Python file, and I'm just going to create a hello world environment here. If you're comfortable using PyCharm, you can skip these steps. This is really just for the people who are beginners. Your super basic when it comes to using Python is, of course, just to create a basic hello world environment. To run this, I can go right click, run hello, and it will open up a little terminal here with my hello world. This should be fairly basic in terms of anyone who's previously used um, a Python environment before. From here, uh, we should have all of our basic environments set up and we can begin having a look at creating some Flask circumstances.